Hey guys, today's tutorial will show you how to make a men's basic bodice pattern as per requested by S. Maple. So first I'll go over a few things you can actually create from the men's basic bodice pattern. So that could be t-shirts, shirts, hoodies, jumpers, jackets, coats, even a male corset. Anything you need to put on a men's torso you can make from this pattern if you tweak and manipulate just a little bit. So next we'll go over the equipments and materials needed and then we'll go over the measurements needed and then we'll proceed on to actually making the men's basic bodice pattern. For the equipment and materials we'll need a roll of paper, a measuring tape, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a French curve, and a pen and pad. All the measurements in this section are the models. We have the numbers up here purely to better help you understand how to use the formulas with your own measurements. The first measurement you'll need is the chest width measurement. So like its name, measure around the chest and the measurement you get we'll call it X. For the model we got 108.5 centimeters. Divide that by 4 and add 3.5 centimeters. That gives us the chest width of 30.6 centimeters. Next is the hip width measurement. Measure the widest part around your bottom. We'll call that measurement Y. From our model we got 118 centimeters. Divide that by 4 and add 3.5 centimetres. That gives us a hip width of 33 centimetres. Next we need the full length measurement. Measure from the protruding bone up to where you measure your hip width. And call that measurement Z. Our model's Z is 61 centimetres. Add 2.5 centimetres to that to get your full length measurement. That gives us 63.5 centimeters. So the next measurement you'll need will be the shoulder length measurement. Measure from the protruding bone up here to the shoulder bone. The shoulder length measurement stays as is. The model's shoulder length is 26.5 centimeters. Now for the armhole measurement, we need to take X divided by four and then subtract 3.8 centimeters. For our model, that was 108.5 centimeters divided by 4 and then subtract 3.8 centimeters, giving us 23.3 centimeters for our armhole measurement. The neck hole down measurement is calculated by dividing x by 12 and adding 3.8 centimeters to it. Substituting our model's x into the equation gave us 12.8 centimeters. The neck hole across measurement is x divided by 12 and add 1.3 centimeters. With our model, we got a neck hole across measurement of 10.3 centimeters. In addition to the preceding measurements, the following measurements are for slim fit garments. The waist width measurement. Measure around the smallest part of the torso and call that measurement J. Our model's J is 91.5 centimeters. Divide that by four and add 3.5 centimeters, giving us the waist width of 26.4 centimeters. Also needed for slim fit garments is the waist length. Measure from the protruding bone up here to where you measured around the waist. This measurement stays as is. So we're going to start with the front of the men's basic bodice pattern. First roll out the paper roll. Use weights if you need. Measure and mark across 4 to 5 centimeters more than your hip width measurement. Do that a few times along the length of the paper roll. Connect the dots with a line.
and fold along that line. Now using weights if you have to, cut along this edge. Now cut along the fold and put the top sheet away for now. Now mark down your full length across this edge. The model's full length measurement is 63.5 centimeters. My ruler is only 50 centimeters, so I'm going to the end of my ruler and then adding on the rest. Draw a line across from that point and that will mark the bottom of the pattern. Cut along that line. Next, mark down the armhole measurement from the top edge. And draw a straight line across to where the chest width measurement is. On that line, mark the shoulder length measurement. Now on the top here, mark down the neck hole across measurement. And the shoulder length measurement. Connect the two shoulder length points. Now from the side edge again, mark down the neck hold down measurement. And using a French curve, draw a curved line from the neck hold cross point to the neck hold down point. On the armhole line from the top, measure and mark down 1.5 centimeters. Now from the neck hole across point to the one just made, draw a line connecting them. Okay, so now from the bottom of the pattern, mark across the hip width measurement. Now connect that point to the chest width measurement point. On the armhole line, go up two centimeters and make a mark. Using the French curve, make a slight curve here. And using freehand, draw a slight dip like so. That gives you a men's basic bodice pattern in a basic tee cut. If you want it to be a slim fit bodice, Mark down the waist length measurement. Draw a line from that point to the waist width measurement and connect the waist width measurement to the chest width and hip width measurement like so. Label the patterns accordingly. Now mark a few centimeters away from the edge. I'm going for four centimeters and I'm marking along the edge. Connect the dots and label it as the grain line. Cut along the pattern line you like. I'm cutting along the basic T cut line. And label the pattern piece as front men's basic bodice. Okay guys, so now we're going to work on the back of the men's basic bodice pattern. Remember that piece of paper we cut and put away before? Bring it out again. Place the front pattern piece on top of it. Line it up edge to edge.
Using a ruler and the front pattern piece as a guide, draw in the bottom of the pattern. And cut along the line. Place the front pattern piece back on. Mark the chest width point and the hip width point. And connect the dots. Next mark where the neck hole across and the neck hole down is. As well as the shoulder point. Connect the neck hole across and shoulder point to get the shoulder line. Using the front as a guide, draw along the armhole. From the existing neck hole down measurement, mark up 5cm for your new one. Using a French curve, connect the neck hole across point to the new neck hole down point. Now back to the armhole, measure 2cm from the curve and blend back to the original line. I'm going to label it here as basic T so you guys can see the difference. Now for the slim fit. We'll be doing it as we did before. Mark down the waist length measurement. Mark across the waist width measurement and connect it to the chest width and hip width measurement. Label the patterns accordingly. I'll be cutting along the basic T cut line. Label it as back men's basic bodice, as we did before on the front pattern, measure a few centimetres away from the edge, I'm using 4 centimetres, mark it a few times along the edge and connect the dots. Label it as the green line and there's your front and back men's basic bodice pattern. Well guys, that's how you make a men's basic bodice pattern. In regards to the sleeves, it's exactly the same as the tutorial of the basic sleeve pattern we've got on this channel. The only thing would be, with the armhole measurement, you're changing the term bust to chest. And that is it. Um, our next video will be a pattern manipulation tutorial on creating a coat as per requested by Sheila Jenner. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our spooshes. Well,